Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys seven tips on how to decorate your space on a budget. Yes, you heard right. So stay tuned. So tip number one. Okay, tip number one is kind of, you know, intuitive, but set a budget and stick to it. All right, for a budget to work, you have to know what you wanna spend and what is feasible for the look that you wanna achieve. So make sure you do your research, do your due diligence, set the budget, and stick to it. You have to stick to it in order for you to decorate your space on a budget. You know, <laughs> Sometimes the budget you may go over, but try not to go, my rule of thumb is try not to go over $100 more than your budget. But most of the time, just stick to the budget and try to set a realistic budget that is flexible. Comment down below if you guys want me to create a video and show you how I set my decor budget for my apartment. Let me know. Tip number two, you have to be a frequent shopper. It doesn't matter how high or low the decor products that you're shopping for, you have to be a freaking shopper, especially if you're shopping in places like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Trust me, I know in each of those stores in my area when their trucks come, generally what time, I'm good friends with the people who work there and that's because I am literally at these stores almost once a week. And honestly, when you're decorating your space and you're doing it on a budget, you have to go in at least once a week to really find the steals. So you can get those decor products on a budget. Tip number three, mix high-end items with low-end items. So just because you're on a budget doesn't mean you should take the cheap way out. <gasps> I know that's kind of contradictory to the first tip, but honestly, like I said, the word budget is situational. So you may have a very high budget for your space, or maybe you have a lower budget or a budget that's in between. Whatever that number is in your mind, you can still mix high-end items with low-end items. Now, let me break a myth to you guys. People typically think stores like Pier One, Pottery Barn, and Crate and Barrel, which are kind of denoted as the higher-end stores, are expensive. But they're not if you're on their email list <laughs> so let me let me share a little hack a little secret with you guys half the time they have really good sales and check this the prices are very similar to home goods or TJ Maxx it depends on the item okay that's a caveat it depends on the item however most of the time when they're having sales you can you and they have coupons they send you you can use those coupons and the prices will end up being the same as home goods tj maxx marshall's whatever stores you shop at um, to get affordable decor tip number four be sure to keep tags on the items that you buy at least a week just to make sure that you actually like the item okay so we all know sometimes we can be compulsive or maybe I can be a compulsive buyer, okay? All right, this is a little confessional video here. But yes, you can kind of buy um, or overbuy on decor products and you get home and an item may not fit in the space or you just don't really like the item like you thought you would, right? That's why it's important to keep your tags on your items at least a week just to make sure that you really like it and that way, if you're keeping your tags on your item for at least a week, or your items for at least a week, then you can take it back and you essentially save money that way instead of, you know, taking the tag off and then you don't like it anymore and now you're like, oh crap, can't take it back, took the tag off. <laughs> yeah, you lost money and you're just building clutter. So we don't wanna do that. Tip number five, as soon as you walk in the store to the clearance, okay? Don't even look at nothing else, straight to the clearance. Why? Because y'all, the clearance be having some gems, okay? Look, you gotta look at clearance and shop 
clearance first. Always shop clearance first. Before heading anywhere else in the store, I wanna see red tags. I just wanna see red tags. And most of the times, stores will mark items that have been returned by people and nothing's wrong with it. So you have to shop clearance first before going anywhere else in the store. That includes Home Goods and TJ Maxx. There are no exceptions to those stores as well. Shop clearance. Tip number six. Shop online. Okay, so many people are asleep on shopping for the core products online. But what I found is that most of the decor products online, one, they have a wider selection and range of different styles, different products. You can kind of achieve the look that you really, really want without settling for things that you find in the store. And you can use promo codes. Promo codes are like my best friend. I actually have an extension downloaded on my computer. It's called Honey. And it literally generates through all the different promo codes and coupons that are available for that store. So I definitely recommend downloading something like Honey or there are different types of little apps that you can download or extensions. So definitely shop online. And shop online because, you know, when you shop online at places like Target or other stores that you can kind of go into store, sometimes the online prices are actually cheaper than the in-store prices. So make sure you're comparing both. And most of the times when you go to the register, they'll honor the online price. I know at least Target does. I can't speak for any other store. And you just save money. So online is the move. And tip number seven, take your time. Decorating a space takes time, it takes patience. And honestly, to really get everything in your budget that you want and for everything to look nice, you just have to take your time. Be consistent, keep looking, take your time, and enjoy the process. Decorating a space is a process, but it's meant to be enjoyed, so don't rush the process. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed my tips, be sure to like this video, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel, and make sure you click that bell notification to receive notification posts in the future for all of my future content. Bye, guys.